Up top, right there, yes. Continue. Okay, can you hear Kita now? Hello, testing, one, two, three, one, two, three, testing. Yes, good morning, Kita, how are you? Thank you. <laughs> Excellent, thank you. Awesome. Anyone else? Anyone else, testing, one, two, three. Yes, please go right ahead. Sorry, I just I had to <laughs> click on something now. Technical. Thing. No, no, no problem, no problem. Okay, so St. Thomas Development Group, uh, which was known as Lee Development Group as well, has been around since 2001, uh, and they have developed uh, several projects in the GTA, and they also have done stuff in Hong Kong, in Asia. Uh, notable projects in the Yorkville area. We did have the pleasure of working in this project called One St. Thomas, which you will find at the bottom center. It's the white building. Uh, it's a 29 story building and it was uh, designed by Robert A.M. Stern and it's probably one of the most luxurious buildings in Toronto right now still to date. Uh, I remember the smallest suite being a one bedroom which was about 1500 square feet and it was designed, interiors were done by both Brian Gluckstein and Chikoni uh, Simone. Uh, and also we, years ago, we got to do the Ellipse Towers, both one and two in Scarborough, and you'll just find those east of Kennedy and 401, uh, two elliptical shaped buildings, and those sold out really quickly. Uh, the developer's last name is Lee, so when you see Lee Center Court in that area, it is actually named after the developer. They've also done other famous landmark properties in Hong Kong with the Putman Hotel, uh, they recently finished a $74 million private residence in Hong Kong, so they, they have been active in the development industry since 2001. Now, the key to this project is location. It is steps from Young and Queen TTC station. So whether you uh, are going to and from the site on public transit, it's really easily accessible. It's literally the third stop uh, if you're going east from Young and Queen, or you could walk there within five minutes and you can go north and south on the TTC or east and west really quickly. And it's really important because within 10 to 15 minutes, whether it be by public transit or walking, we are in uh, a lot of very significant places. So whether you are uh, going to be an end user or an investor, uh, these are some very key points for this project. It has a perfect transit score of 100, being very close to Young and Bloor. Uh, so we're steps from the uh, Queen TTC station, whether you walk along Shooter or Queen, you can get there within five minutes. And the other significant part is that we are in something uh, known as, uh, there's a lot of educational uh, institutions in the area. You've got Ryerson to the north, George Brown to the south, then you've got OCAD to the west, uh, and then you've got U of T a little bit further west as well, or northwest of the site. And these have a huge amount of students that attend these uh, institutions. But in addition to the students that attend the educational institutions, there's also support staff that work there. So you've got about 10,000 students that just for Ryerson alone that attend Ryerson every year, year over year. But in addition to that, you've got over 25 to 30,000 administration and faculty people working at these places as well. And this is significant for my next point as well. This site is uh, very close to something known as employment areas. Employment areas are obviously places where a lot of people work and we are within 10 to 15 minutes of all the biggest employment areas in the city of Toronto. Uh, you've got just to the west of the site, you've got St. Michael's Hospital, which is newly renovated and expanded. In addition to just being a bigger hospital, they've expanded their research wings and their offices. Uh, you've got, you know, the Eaton Center, big shopping area which also employs a lot of people as well. Uh, to the west you've got City Hall, a lot of people work there. Uh, the Financial Corps where a lot of people work at Osgood Hall and you also have the new Google head office which will be built to the south of the site. Now this is not the Alphabet City project that was recently cancelled, this is actually their head office which is going to be done next year. These are some key facts about the City of Toronto and one of the biggest ones being is if you measure Canada's entire GDP, so that's the value of all the goods and services produced within Canada on a yearly basis, 18.5% uh, of that is created in the Toronto region alone. So almost one fifth of the country's entire GDP uh, is created in Toronto. And within the 18.5%, within the a lot of those people working in those employment areas that I mentioned uh, are responsible for creating uh, a lot of that GDP. And so there's a high demand for this 
uh, project because of its location to these employment areas. Furthermore, uh, it could be we had one scenario where someone was purchasing for uh, an end user, purchasing for their children to attend the, uh, that's right, by actually attend Ryerson. And assuming that once they graduate, there's a very high probability that they're going to be working in one of those large employment areas within the site as well. So there's plenty of room to grow. And there's also a huge catchment area of people working in the area, going to school in the area, that'll be renters as well. Now back to the building. Uh, upon the, on top of the seventh floor of the office area, you'll have amenities like a lap pool, you'll have indoor private party rooms, you will have a uh, sort of a dining area, party room, gym. So amenities that you do come to expect. Um, and you also get to look at the Toronto skyline upon on the seventh floor facing south and west and east. Now, I just wanted to highlight one of the suites that we do have. Uh, this is a suite on the 47th floor and it's 934,000. It's a model C1. It's a two bedroom suite uh, with two full bathrooms. And it does face south, and I'll show you the view later. And I also would like to stress that every suite in this building has some sort of outdoor space. So every suite in this building has a balcony. Right. Now it has breathtaking views to the south. And this is the view from the 45th floor looking south from this site. So you can clearly see a bit to the top left that we do have nice clear views to the lake. And then to the west and south, you're looking into the city skyline, which looks really great as well. These are the current incentives that we have at the moment. For a deposit structure, we are looking for about 25% deposit, 20% now and 5% on occupancy. Uh, in general, though, the extended deposit structure for your clients, or if you are a purchaser, would be 10% this year, and then 10% next year, and then 5% on occupancy. Anticipated occupancy would be April 2024. We have parking. Instead of 100,000, it's priced at $90,000. Now, please note that parking is only available for three bedroom suites. We do have a waiting list for uh, people that would like to purchase parking for smaller suites right now. Uh, there are a few people on it, but not too many. So you can go on that waiting list should you purchase a suite smaller than a three bedroom suite. We are selling lockers right now. They're $8,000. They'll be on the parking lot levels and their cages. And then the standard size of two feet wide, four feet uh, long, and they're about seven to eight feet high. We do have a reduced assignment fee at the moment as well. Developer usually charges about 5,000. We have that at 1,000. So at this time, I am going to leave my contact information here and I wanna thank you for listening to my presentation and I'm online for the next a few minutes to answer any questions you have about the project, but in, if you don't have any questions and come up with questions later, please feel free to email me. Uh, my uh, let me know if anyone has any questions. Thank you, Kita, for presentation. I just want to have, uh, uh, I guess, uh, a question about the area. I think my, my, it's my understanding that we're going to have a uh, um, hotel coming up to the area as well. Is, is that part of the project as well? No, okay. So the building to the north was called 88 North, and that was a 29-story building, and that's currently done and occupying. The, there's two buildings in the middle, and these are 20, uh, two 27-story buildings that are currently under construction, and they're, they're actually going to be purpose-built rental buildings. So these are executive rental buildings, kind of like the uh, Jefferson Theater District that you find on University Avenue. Okay, so those are under construction right now. And 88 Queen is under construction right now as well. So the total of number of buildings we're gonna have in that, in that, on that land would be how many? Four buildings. Four buildings. Yeah. And would you say we have a good number of size of commercial uh, retails and office buildings uh, below the project? Yes, absolutely. Um, you know, in the area alone, like to the south, there's heritage buildings that are on nice office buildings. And then the project itself will have, you know, seven stories of offices and then nice retail going all the way through the entire city block with some parks in between as well. Perfect. Hi, Kita. <laughs> Is this the uh, last phase? Uh, Kita, another um, question in regards to um, the deposit structure for foreign purchase. Right. The same, different. 
It is different. So we are looking for about a 35% deposit for uh, foreign purchasers. So you would actually just add on another five and five to the last two deposits. So they would be looking at 10% now and 20% over the course of the next uh, two years, three years actually. Okay, sorry, I missed some of that. I guess it's my reception. So it's 10% now and then 20% in the in next year, did you say? Yeah, so well, well, that's just sort of a summary, but essentially okay. 10,000 with, with the offer, uh, mm -hmm. and then it would be a 5% and then a balance of 5% within 30 days. Yep. And then another 5% within, uh, I think it's 120 days. Okay. So three months. And then in 270 days, which takes you to next year, Instead of 5%, yep. that would be 10%. Mm -hmm. 540 days, it would be another 10%. So they, okay. you would just add on those fives on the, the, the back end there. Okay, got it. Thank you. Peter, is there any development the cap on the project that we have provision? Yeah, so currently right now, the one bedroom and dens are capped at $12,000. The two bedrooms are capped at 16000 just as a side note, I only have one one bedroom and den left, and it's priced at eight hundred and sixty thousand. And the two bedrooms start at eight hundred and seventy-two thousand, and three bedrooms start at nine hundred ninety-one thousand. Okay, out of the four buildings, pizza, which uh, phase are we selling at this point? Is this phase three or phase four? No. Oh, someone have a question, Ali? I didn't hear that. Sorry, can you repeat your question, Ali? Out of the four buildings on site, are we selling the fourth building? Is this a phase four? Oh, can you repeat the question? Because I couldn't hear him on my end. Sorry, uh, his, uh, there, I guess the question is, is this the last phase? Is this the fourth phase or is this the, se uh, the second? Well, how would you categorize this? This is the, the last building for the project. Yeah. And I'm going to play devil's advocate how do you compare this uh, project with the uh, the projects in the vicinity? 199, the Saint, and the other ones in the vicinity. How do you compare this? I can't hear them at all. Sort of so sorry. The question is, how would you compare this as a devil advocate? I guess the question: How would you compare this with the competitions in the area? It created some uh, some noise these days, like uh, 199 uh, Church and Saint, and so forth. Well, first and foremost, all our suites have balconies. Um, this developer has not, between all of us in this presentation, I'm gonna tell you they've not been aggressive on pricing, nor have they increased pricing. Um, I think it, but having said that, the because of the other projects in the area, I think it's a good thing that other projects are coming to the area because it just shows the strength of the area and, and the continued growth of the area. And the reason why these projects are all in the area is because they are, they're all in. Uh, you know, high places where there's a lot of demand for whether it be an investor or an end user to live in this area. And the good thing is once all these people do come into the area, that expands the retail, expands the amenities. So the area just gets better. So in comparison, I think um, all the other projects are great compliments. I think our project's better, of course, because I represent it. Uh, but I do like the fact that all these projects are coming into the area because it just brings up the area and it, it shows that there is demand in the area, whether you're an investor and end user to live or to rent here. Thank you. Now, South View uh, floor plans, from which floor and higher do we get water view? The question is about which floor you're going to get to see the water on the building. Okay, so over... Directly to the south, you've got uh, small sort of heritage buildings that can be only 10 stories. So anything above legal floor number 10, uh, you should get a view of the lake, assuming that they don't build 30, 40 story buildings along the lake shore. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Kita, another question for me. Uh, did we speak into the level of finishes and, uh, and I guess, um, uh, what we have in comparison in the neighborhood, that would be uh, something we can make benefit from. Another thing is for a right to lease during the occupancy, perhaps. Yeah, so the right, to, so if you're an investor client, the, we do have the right to lease during the occupancy period, that's fine. Um, right now, they, with the uh, 88 North project that's just being completed right now, all you have to do is just uh, notify the property management company. It's, that's really easy to do. The process is very easy, and this developer is very, 
willing to cooperate with you when you leasing during the occupancy period. In terms of the level of finishes, uh, there's stone countertops, porcelain floors, uh, undermount sinks. That um, you know, I, th I think that the degree of finishes are, if not just as good as anyone else, or even a little bit better. Um, I do have some renderings of interior suites that you can take a look at. Um, that I'd be more than willing to share with you guys, and, and a complete list of the finishes if you'd like to look at them. Is there flexibility on the deposit structure you showed us? Oh, I have a question. So, how much is it per floor? Really easy. It's a thousand dollars. A thousand? Okay. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's good. And um, also, like, what's the percentage sold in the other buildings? Are they all sold out? Okay, so the uh, 88 North is actually occupying and registered, so that's completely sold out. Um, as I said, the two middle buildings are going to be purpose-built rental buildings, 27 stories each. Right. So if you're familiar with something like a project called the Jefferson Theater District at uh, University in Queen, they're like executive rental buildings. Okay. So those are under construction right now. And then this building will be 51 stories. So I don't know if you heard my question. Are there any further flexibilities on the payment structure? Okay. The, there was another question, Kita. Uh, if there is any flexibility on the payment structure, perhaps that you can mention. We're always open, and I'm always willing to go to the developer uh, for a payment structure. So if you do have sort of any, you know, proposed payment structure, let me know, and I'll take it to the developer and see what they can do. Thank you. One more question. I think I have, uh, Kita. There, there are so many people they advertise that they're uh, they're approved, and then down the road we see that the changes happening uh, within the city, or perhaps design change, or maybe losing the opportunity of purchaser. So, what's the status of approval here, Kita, based on what you know? Oh, okay. So this site, the entire site, has been approved, and construction has started. So we're under construction already. It's the design of the building has been done. Everything's submitted to the city. If you go to the site, you will see that they are digging for the parking right now. So it's done. Super. Thank you. Yeah. yeah okay. So the process of our submission is just uh, talk to the agents and submit the worksheet like what we normally do by the by the email. Is that what it is? It is. So we would need a valid ID. Uh, we just need their phone number, email address, valid ID with address, and their signature. We do have a system called the VESDO, which is a remote signing thing. So we'll just complete the agreement here and we'll email it to your clients and they can sign digitally, send it back to us. And then we do have about four or five payment options available to your clients as well to getting the first deposit to us and future deposit checks to us. Are there other contacts uh, besides Kita from the sales office? Uh, he is our point of contact. Kita is our point of contact. Thank you. Okay, that's that's all my question. Thank you very much for spending some time today, Kita, for presenting the case today. It, it was You're really welcome. helpful, insightful, and uh, we'll be in touch again. Okay. Absolutely. Thank you very much. I'd like to thank all of you for attending. Thank you very much. Have have a great day. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good job. Thanks. Okay, thank you for attending the presentation today. I think the pre the whole idea was to learn about what we have in the in the node of the city, Queen and Young Street, and I guess we learned quite a bit about what are the amenities in the area and the, how flexible the builder could be at this stage. The fact the projects are under are under the way under the construction, I believe that is uh, significantly uh, supportive of our investment. It's not going to be down the road of a news that be broken to us say they don't have uh, they don't proceed with the project and so forth. This to me means that they already have the money for financing for construction, and they are proceeding with the with the with the excavation. That means they are uh, they are going ahead with the project. Yet you are much more in the strategic location compared to the competitions uh, and uh, uh, one compared to 199, compared to Ivan Saint and so forth in further southern uh, part of the city. And yet you are a step away from the San Michael Hospital and so many other amenities. So I think we have a special arrangement for the people that are watching this today. And there would be five thousand dollar bonus uh, coupon that they can just ask for the reps once they communicated with them, and they can benefit from that by uh, submitting a worksheet within this week. If there is any question, you can reach us at four one six five nine 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 five nine nine, and uh, you can dial zero and pay us, and we can contact you.
having having said that, I wish you all uh, the best day, and uh, we can talk to you guys soon. Thank you.